A couple of weeks ago in the How Goku Hit His Head video, we talked about whether bullets have any effect on Goku, and I felt like I didn't go deep enough into this, so I'm covering this small part of that video in more depth here. Most fans would have agreed before Super that bullets couldn't have any effect on Goku. But then Super Episode 77 happened and the debate began. How could a Goku that's hundreds of thousands of times stronger than his child self be scathed by a single bullet? If a bullet couldn't scratch him as a kid with a power level in the hundreds, then it certainly can't scratch him as an adult with a base power level in the millions, right? Wrong. Okay, but I guess there are some reasons for this. Goku had dropped his guard by suppressing his key to nearly nothing because he was having to work as an earthling and didn't want to hurt anyone. He learned this when he accidentally hit Chi Chi before. But we said Goku dropping his guard makes him vulnerable and unprepared. Goku can definitely suppress his key because when Future Trunks first appeared, he suppressed his key to a power level of 5 so that Freezer's scouters couldn't detect him. And if a rock can hurt him in the Cell Games arc, then surely a bullet can if he's off guard. The same goes for Sorbet's laser shot. Goku dropped his guard, powered down to his base, and suppressed his key to the point where the laser could easily pass straight through his body. He didn't have that part of his body or his whole self surrounded with key at that point, but I guess I should be less harsh on Goku as Frieza made the laser stronger than his own power, so it would kill Goku. Anyways, another reason why Goku only got scathed by the bullet was because his skin is stated to be like stainless steel, all the way back in Dragon Ball Manga Chapter 1. Back then, child Goku could withstand Bulma's bullets due to Grandpa Gohan's training, but in the Red Ribbon Army saga, guns seemed to be more powered up and it was stated that two shots from General White's powered gun could kill Goku. I think Goku got away with just a scratch by the bullet because of his tough skin despite his key being suppressed to nearly nothing, and that's why he didn't end up like that farmer at the start of Z. Some people also bring up Goku Black in Super Episode 63 and supposedly how a sniper bullet didn't affect him as some kind of clue. But we didn't get to know if he could be injured by a sniper bullet as unfortunately Mai actually missed Black and only struck his Patara earring. His head didn't receive the bullet so there aren't any clues here for further debate. So all this information points to Goku being bullet resistant rather than bullet proof. His skin is acting as a natural anti-bullet vest, which can still be scratched if his guard is down with total suppression of key. One improvement though that Goku has made over his child self is that he didn't appear to feel pain when he got shot, compared to child Goku who clutched his head and whining, but I guess he'd never felt the sting of bullets before that. Of course, we all know the biggest reason why the bullet scratched Goku. The writers thought if Goku was hurt by a bullet, it would give Goku a reason to go, hmm, maybe I should start training again. After this, he eventually got to Beerus Planet, and then during his training, he eventually remembers about the Universal Tournament. It certainly wasn't the best plot point the writers ever came up with. The rock scene in Dragon Ball Z was just for pure comedy, but this scene in Dragon Ball Super with the bullet was to actually further the plot. Okay, so it was great character development for Goku, but I'm not sure how. <sighs> oh, bloomin' heck. Anyways guys, let me know in the comments what you think this bullet scene in Super proved about Goku and also if you missed it, check out the video um, up here. It's about how Goku hit his head at the very start of Dragon Ball and I think it will really enhance your knowledge of Dragon Ball. Thanks guys and if you enjoyed the video, press that like button and I'll unlock your full potential. No, I really will and subscribe to expand your knowledge of Dragon Ball and get coverage of Super. And lastly, check out the following videos of mine coming on the end screen. Thanks, Kai Kai.